Now to Larimer County, an eclectic attraction is going away. The Sweatsville Zoo will soon become a new development. Yeah, the zoo is actually a sculpture park in Temneth. This is off I-25 in Harmony. Now the 36-acre site will turn into a new mixed-use development. Dylan Thomas is live from there this evening. Dylan, the buyers tell you this project could redefine one of the busiest intersections there in northern Colorado. Yeah, we're here at the intersection of Harmony and I-25, where around 100,000 vehicles pass by every single day. Some heading between Greeley and Fort Collins, others Denver and Cheyenne. Nevertheless, the area is booming with growth, and the growth and the price of this property is absolutely skyrocketing. So now there are some buyers who want the property, and they say they're still going to keep a little bit of the charm of the zoo, even when they redevelop it. It's a tough piece of real estate, but it's a prime piece of real estate. Along the Poudre River, hundreds of unique pieces of art have called the Sweatsville Zoo home for decades. But now the property is under contract to be redeveloped for business, leisure, and residential use. We see this as a great opportunity. Liz Newman with Macaulay Development Group says the property has great potential. With what we have planned here, you can eat, play, live, work. As of now, the west side of the Poudre would be developed as multi-use, with the east side being more retail have it patios on the side of the river as well as walking uh, pedestrian bridges. Newman hopes to create a river walk that ties together local trails and bike paths and along those paths will be something familiar. I just feel it's really important to keep some of the art and put that into the development as much as I can to pay homage to Mr. Sweats. People that have lived here all their lives have come here as children to visit these beautiful pieces of art. Newman says the property will remain a gathering place for Northern Colorado. While not all of the pieces can stay, those that do will remind generations of Northern Coloradans of a zoo and the curator who created it. His art has been here for so many years and is a, a part of the fabric of Fort Collins and Larimer County. A part of the fabric of the education system up here as well. There have been different types of field trips from elementary schools all the way up to universities throughout the years. I came here as part of CSU's insects program to learn about different types of bugs that were designed into these different sculptures. Nevertheless, those trips may be cut short now because the sale is set to be final later this year in December. And if that does happen, the developers hope to have property redeveloped in three to four years. Reporting live in 10 minutes, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. Truly one of a kind out there. All right, Dylan, thank you for that report tonight.